you are an expert on cybersecurity, I'm not. So the thing is that, but we are known as the Chinese whistleblowers. Our founder and leader, Mr. Mao Zuo, he has the, the most censored intelligence about what's going on and what has the CCP done to uh, to America's institution, America government, to steal your privacy, to steal your data. And but why in this country people are not talking about the cybersecurity issue posed by the CCP? I mean, you know, it is like are, are they afraid of telling? The, the public that, uh, you know, they have been hacked by CCP? Well, we are the most vulnerable we ever have been. You know, all of our information is online. Whether we put it up there on purpose or a company, a hospital has our data. So it's now available. The government has our data. So, yes, nation states attack. They use cyber crimes. They use ransomware. They use hackers to infiltrate not only our government, but our personal lives. Um, if you haven't been on the dark web, I mean, the dark web is full. It's a, it's a bad place to be, but it's where criminals go, nation states to go to sell and exchange information, right? It's where they go exchange not only information, but also how to crack the code or break in or whatever it may be. So yeah, uh, nation states are a big threat. Also individuals from all over the world are hacking our information and stealing our, our money, our credit information, everything. I've been having this question for a while that, you know, the, the CCP is a nation state criminal organization. It is an illegitimate representation of the Chinese people because we never we never voted them into power. It's a dictatorship. But why the U.S., which is the leader of the free world, continue to do business as usual with the CCP? I mean, you're Wall Street, you're corporate America. And, you know, basically you're enabling the world's largest ever slavery on the face of the earth. Well, the labor market is, uh, you know, that it's a very profitable labor market, a uh, very profitable supply chain. There really aren't many companies in America that are successful that aren't using some sort of Chinese labor or parts made in China or whatever it may be. So, I mean, that's one thing China has done is they are the global manufacturer for a lot of companies, not just in the U.S., but all over the world. So. You know, in a capitalistic society where profit rules, sometimes people put morals aside or religion aside or whatever it may be. So until we get uh, until we put profitability aside, then we're going to continue to probably exploit labor markets all over the world. I, I don't think America is a free country until uh, the Chinese slavery, which is enabled by America, corporate America. Wall Street, America's sellout uh, is ended.